first of all, very important, the eclipse glasses. We do not look into the sun with our eyes unprotected. Do not want to go blind. So I'll be making some photos uh, of the eclipse with my camera, which is a point-and-shoot camera, a Canon PowerShot SX40, and I've had this camera for about five years, and uh, I think it makes really decent pictures. Very good zoom lens on it as well, and uh, yeah, I'm really happy with it. So what goes for your eyes also goes for your camera. You do not want to fry your camera. Um, if you want to make pictures of the sun, you're going to be needing a solar filter. Uh, I wanted a good one, so I got one from Batter. Um, Thousand Oaks also makes very good ones, by the way. Um, this is a OD 5.0 solar filter, and it comes in a box, and you have to put it together, which is not very difficult. Um, it has some uh, sticking screws on the back, so you can fit it against your lens, and then these little levers on the front, so that you can position it so that it really fits uh, snugly. Um, the way you put it on, you know, I have to zoom out a little bit, otherwise it won't fit. And then I just push it on. Um, I have to zoom out a little more because you know you see there's a gap here, which you're really not supposed to have. So I just zoom out a little more, and then I just push it against the lens. And then you're ready to make pictures of the sun without frying your camera. Uh, the only problem uh, with my camera is that if it goes into energy saving mode, or if I just retract the lens all the way back, whoops, there you go, the filter falls off. Um, so I have to be either really careful, or I have to use these sticky things uh, on the back. But I'm not sure how I'm going to make that work, because when I have the lens all the way zoomed out, it doesn't really fit all that well. So, And I already made a test shot of the sun, and uh, yeah, I'm really happy with my first test. I think it looks pretty good. I even got a sunspot in there. I'll also be using my iPhone to either record the ambience around us or uh, to focus on a thermometer and record the temperature change. So this is my new toy. <laughs> yeah, I actually got an action cam. Um, this is the GoPro Hero 5 Black. I've been playing around with it for the past couple of weeks and um, it's a, a small camera. It's very lightweight, easy to use, has very nice features and um, I have to say the quality of the footage is outstanding. GoPro is mainly to record parts of our eclipse chasing adventure and then upload those as a segment of my playlist in YouTube. Um, of course I also want to record the eclipse with it and I can do that in two ways. Um, I can either do a time lapse and that's something I've been experimenting with as well or I can just uh, set the camera to wide view and then start recording and then record the whole eclipse as it unfolds. Um, I haven't quite decided which one I'm gonna do yet though. And yes, sure, I do want to make some nice photographs and record everything on video, but for me, that's not the most important thing. I don't want to spend precious time, you know, staring at a camera and making sure my settings are okay. Um, it's only 2 minutes and 14 seconds. I want to fully experience it with all my senses. I don't want to let it come through me. I want to live it. I want to feel it. I really do. For me, that's the most important thing.